Why don't you take a seat here, Marky? I thought you said we were going to an Antifa protest, Zade. Where are all the Orange Man bad posters? Uh, about that. Well, sorry I'm late. I hope you're all ready for a tremendous meeting. Oh, and it looks like we have a new face. Mark Wade, is it? Is this your first SAA meeting? SSA? What is that? Sex Addicts Anonymous? Zade, you know I haven't done anything like that since 93. Well, uh... Oh, for the lamb's sakes. Get your head out of the gutter. S-A-A stands for Soy Addicts Anonymous. <laughs> but I... Listen, you wanted me to help. I'm helping. You're my lawyer, Wade. Not my sponsor. Well, bless my stars, Wade and Zade. Your name's Rhyme. Tell me that's on purpose. He's the target of a lawsuit. There's only so much we can talk about. Well, just for the record, I think it's cuter than a June bug. But we really should get going. Who wants to start? I'll go. My name is Jim Acosta, and I am a soy boy. I've been sober for three years, and I still can't shake it. It's like I'm testosterone intolerant or something. Well, did you try that scrambled egg recipe I sent you? Of course! I even added triple onions and raw shark cartilage. How can my testosterone be so low and my cholesterol so high? I even tried strong-arming the White House intern, but nothing! It's like, it's like gender studies 101 all over again. Remember, Jim, no one said it'd be easy. This is ridiculous. I don't drink soy. I never liked the stuff. How could I be addicted? Uh, are you sure? Oh, what do you know? Why don't you get back on Twitter and harass random nerds like I pay you to do? Nerd. Now, Mark Wade, we found this in the back seat of your car. Dozens of them. And? My stars. Take a look at the ingredients, silly. Ugh. This isn't happening. Can't be happening. I'm the target of a lawsuit. And now this? Well, Mark, that's your problem. Sometimes it has less to do with the soy and more to do with taking responsibility for yourself. Let's give it a try. Tell me, what are you being sued for? Um, being a savior of the minorities. Try again. Uh, defamation. Now, Marky. Okay, alright. Torture. <laughs> Torture. Um, uh, let me just say... First, I'd like to recognize that I am a white man, and now hold on, Mark. You can't just check your privilege and hope that's going to get you out of this pickle. Boy, telling the truth was the only thing that pulled me out. Now I'm just teeming with testosterone. Well, let's go, Zade. I can't sit here and take advice from a man named Lindsay. Well, careful, Marky. Lindsey Graham is a 6.5 out of 10 for testosterone. He knows what he's talking about. Don't waste your time. Well, bless my stars. Don Lemon, is that you? Yes, and I have a faster way out of this mess. I wasn't voted the 2016 worst journalist of the year for nothing. I can verify this is pure. Well, I... Do declare, is that what I think it is? Yes, the whiz of Chuck Norris. One sip and the soy will literally evaporate. Oh, let me see that. Wait, you can't drink that. Chuck Norris is a 17 out of 10 in testosterone. Do you have any idea what that might do to you? Uh, hold on, hold on, one more question. It's mine. I need it to fix this. Fix this now. One hour later. Well, shoot, Mark. Nothing happened. How is this possible? If it makes you feel any better, we're all going to go head over to Tucker Carlson's house to chant. I brought an extra mask. This is Clint with Sweetcast. I hope you enjoyed my little skit at the beginning there because that took way too long for me to edit. So the video is going to be a little bit shorter today and later. But I didn't want to leave you without giving you the mean tweet of the day. Mark S. Zaid Esquire, lawyer extraordinaire said, seriously, GOP, every one of these voters should be publicly shamed. Unfortunately, we don't know who they are. Disgusting. Yeah, because knowing who people voted for is important for you to know so you can shame people. I bet a number of them read the graphic novel Jawbreaker, so he's got to bring Comics Gate into this. Again, you cannot escape politics if you're into comic books. They will not let you. So I hope that you liked this video. If you did, please comment below. Let me know what you would tell Mark Zaid. And subscribe. I'm, we're building some momentum. I'm, I could really use your help with subscriptions. And also, please share this video. If you thought it was funny, that way all of your friends can enjoy it as well. And I will see you on the next episode.